We tell people what the scriptures actually say. I mean, the scripture said don't be a faggot. It says don't eat pork. It says don't celebrate Christmas. So that's what we're going to teach. But y'all can't judge, though. Now, we're teaching the Bible properly is what we're doing. For how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thy own eye, thou hypocrite? First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Right, really, that's talking about, that's talking about before you even go out here doing this work, you got to get yourself right, you know what I mean? At least to the best of your ability. It takes years, though, to get, you know, right. We all still sin and shit, you know what I mean? But we do our best. We're not a fucking murdering <laughs> savages. We ain't out here robbing people, sticking people up. You know what I mean? You ain't cooking no crystal meth for me? Nope. Yeah, Okay, man. See you later. Okay. All right. Yeah, I gotta be careful now. All right. I'll give you a Mr. Sherman. That's old Wilbur right there. That look like, uh, damn Elijah. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Yeah, give not that which is holy unto the dogs. That's how you gotta know who you can give the truth to and who you cannot. Cause you just know when somebody's just a just a no good sack of shit. You're like you, you just wasting your time teaching a lot of people. You know what I mean? Yeah, he referred to them as dogs. Yeah, the nation, the other, he, the nations are dogs. Yeah. Dogs. So that's proof. The truth is not for everybody, but it, this truth is a treasure. Majority of the black woman. Oh yeah, you know what I mean? Like dog. like that woman that came up. You just wasting your time that's teaching dog. women. Dog. I mean, you might have some women that. You know what I mean? They might be sincere, they want to listen. But for the most part, this is for men. We worry, we worry about the men. The, the women are getting in line when the men get in line. When the, you know what I'm saying? When the Lord exalts the man and puts us back in our power, then the woman gonna come after that. That's how, that's how it works. We know that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? The woman just follows who got the power, who got the money. That's, that's where they at. That's a, that, what do you call that? That's nature, that's natural. Neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Yep. And they ain't talking about a motherfucking uh, uh, new CTS Cadillac either. That's talking about this wisdom and knowledge, because really that's the only thing you should be. Well, you go into the Lord's Prayer, there's the chapter right before that, right? And it goes into what you're supposed to ask for. The first thing you're supposed to ask for. Is that the Lord King, the Lord's kingdom comes? That's what you're supposed to be praying for. Like you, you ain't supposed to be praying for a Bugatti. The Lord, please give me a Rolex. Oh, Lord, please give me a woman. I need a wife. Right. The Lord ain't never said to pray for that. You're supposed to pray that the Lord's kingdom comes. Go ahead. And what does it say? That uh, where your heart is. Yep. That your treasure is also. There it is. Right. Yep. And ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall open unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. And he that seeketh that what we was always, you know. That's a just deep itself. That is deep, because you know, we was searching for the truth when we found it. You we didn't even know the Lord's name, but we still praying to the unknown unknown name. You know, like our oh, Heavenly Father, whatever. You know, in our mind we didn't we didn't know him. We knew it. Yeah, and Acts. Well, yeah, before we was in the truth, yeah, we was praying to the unknown God. We knew he was there. We didn't know nothing about him, though. I was confused. I didn't know Jesus was the same person. But we knew, we knew it was there because you could feel it. You know what I mean? So you just kept praying. You just kept searching and digging for that truth, and you, you struck gold. You know what I mean? Like before we was in, uh, in the truth, we was in the ufology. Ancient history, you know, the ancient mysteries, studying Atlantis, all, all that crazy shit. Yeah, brother, some brothers have been into Islam. Sorry for you, you gotta go that route. Hey, some people got, you know, got different paths though. Some some brothers might be stuck up in Islam right now until they wake up to the truth, you know?
Yeah, because look, you still right now though. Because you might have a righteous man calling himself a, a, a Muslim. That's why we supposed to go teach him though. You know, wake that brother up. So he come out of that Islam madness. Because you want, that's, that's something a lot of people can't get. You'll have a, you'll have people in the Catholic Church who will be a righteous man, but they caught up in that Catholic madness. You know what I mean? That's why you gotta teach them, to teach them the right way. That's another part, they were seeking for that truth. That's why somebody might have joined the Catholic Church. Nah, I got, I'm looking for the truth. But then they went to the wrong spot. You know, because you know the Catholic Church is off. They can claim that they old and ancient all they want. But they, they teaching so much shit contrary to the scriptures, it's not funny. What did you look for? This is Acts 17 and 21. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in North and Northern else, but neither to tell or to hear some new thing. Then Paul stood up in the midst of Mars Hill, Mars Hill, and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship him, declared I unto you, the Most High that made the worlds and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelling not in temples made with hands. And, and I find that funny too because they found an altar with an unguy. They didn't find an idol with it written on it. It was an altar. Because you know, uh, them Greeks, them Hellens, those was the Israelites that had lost their way over the years. They started perverting all the stories of the Bible. Just like we were lost. Yeah, yeah, just like, exactly, just like we was lost. They, they worship a, uh, they, they fell into total madness. You know what I'm saying? Confusion. But they still had that ancient altar. That was probably ancient too. You know what I'm saying? They said, it was an altar set up written saying to the unknown God. Because there was Israelites over there, they knew that they, they just forgot the Most High's name. That's crazy. Kind of like when the Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill. Yeah. I, mean, I did a search on that before. I just Mars Hill probably would have yeah. probably had a uh, temple to Mars set up there. Mars didn't Hill. It? That's crazy. Hey? Mars Hill. Back to Matthew 7. Yeah, it was an unknown God. Yeah, because like I said before we came into truth, we were searching. Just like the scripture said, what? If you search, you'll find. That's right. That's right. Right, you keep knocking on that door, somebody's going to answer. Eventually, yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, you be at that door forever, boy. You be at that. Knock, open up, ain't nobody home. Yeah. Just like you keep knocking on that door and playing that Ouija door. Oh, shit. You know, shit like that, man. Eventually, that door going to open, man. I ain't knocking There's on that door. Something opening. That's you ain't going to be oh, happy yeah. to see. Oh, yeah, you ain't going to be happy to see that one. Yeah, Esau do his witchcraft. When he finally succeeds, yeah, he, he's not as happy as when he started out. Right, right. Damn, I'm trying to think of the movie I told y'all to watch. God. Oh, man. I'm going to have to find it, though. But during the whole movie, there, this, this woman hired a dude to help her uh, 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 waking a demon up. And at the end of the movie, they finally did it, man. And they, she was not happy. <laughs> Yeah, it always turns out bad when you summon the demons. That can't possibly go right. This Exodus is a little girl there, the reason for it. That demon got on there. And then they put that just shit in the movies too. That, that's big on YouTube now too. That demon was crazy. That shit. It's the best movie right there. Y'all watch YouTube, there's a bunch of shit. And they're mostly directed at children. There's a lot of real big, I forget the channel's name. But it's real popular with young kids. They got all these uh, YouTube sites where people is investigating ghosts or playing with Ouija boards. You know what I'm saying? So I guess the little children are uh, interested in it. They see their favorite YouTuber playing with a Ouija board. They want to get a Ouija board. And then you go to the store, tell you how fucked up this is. Where do you get a Ouija board from? You go to Walmart and it's in the children's section. It's in its toys. And a Ouija board, uh, the goddamn games. It's with the game. That's what they think. It's, it's the For children. Well, don't but, the Bible about well they know what they're doing, though. I can't remember where it is. I know it's a... It's a That's necromancy. 
You must be fucking with familiar spirits or some shit like that. Yeah, man. now that's a familiar spirit. Yeah. These people are crazy, man. That's madness. Right. They think they got the power to turn that shit on and off. Okay. This is the time when the Most High is beginning to visit the world, brother. So everything gonna start going wrong in that shit, man. You see the video of the dude falling out the fair rod, you know? Oh, that video was beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. The Lord had answered my prayers. Yeah, I've yeah. been saying for the longest time, I wish the Lord fuck somebody up at the fair. I've been saying it too. Yeah. And, like, I, and I've been told my sons, they like, when we go to the fair, wow. I'm like, look, I'm not getting on them old, raggedy ass, rusted up ass rides. I'm not doing it. That's just not safe. To the Lord long enough, huh? yeah, that's probably that same damn ride they had there since 1970. <laughs> you know what I mean? I but that video that was shit. beautiful. I know, I know. It was beautiful. I it, oh, you just watched it. The, the motherfucker just, just swoop down, hit the crowd of people. <laughs> that was Can't beautiful. Blame. He was spreading all out when he was falling. You know they went to the Pharaoh happy earlier that day. It's been a big month too. You know, thinking thinking the day was just going you know, it was going to be a family friendly, beautiful day. Oh, we wanna have a beautiful day with the family. No, you getting it's fucked up for your wicked. Oh, that look like your girl from Conan, the bald bitch. It's, it's like what's her name? Grace. Grace Jones. That's Grace Jones. Yeah. yeah. That's Auntie Grace. Expensive truck too. That's a nice truck. That's a very expensive truck, man. With a specialized ram so. Man, that fair video, man. Wow. That's about a sixty thousand dollar truck. Damn. About a sixty thousand. And she got it lifted with special rims on it. And what is a woman going to do with a truck like that? I lifted this about five to six times, if not more. A woman can't haul nothing. She just in there bitch. You know. I get me a truck, bro. She's a woman. That's why yeah. she got the truck. She's going to eat. She's going to eat some pussy. She's going to eat some booty. They don't pussy like that. Yeah, they booty they liquor. booty now, man. Butthole liquor. Yeah, right. <laughs> Matthew 7 and 8. That's disgusting. For everyone that seek, ask and receive it, oh. and he that seeketh find it. And to him that knocketh it shall be open. But what man is there of you who, if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? Hey, right. I got a quick precept for you, real quick. We, uh, my fault, but you mentioned that thing about the familiar spirits and all that. I'm going to just get this real quick. Uh, this is Leviticus 18 and 10. This shall not be found among you. Anyone that make it the son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch. Or an observer of time, that's going into the astrology. You know, all these people, they be like, well, what's your zodiac and all this? Talking about, oh, you ain't compatible, compatible with me, baby. I can't even mess with you like that. Good afternoon. <laughs> Westminster Presbyterian. Uh-oh. I'm a digging. They're digging? Yeah. Rock on, digging. Uh, I've, I've seen you guys before. You're doing a good, nice thing. Yeah. We're all Christians. We're all God's children. We're all God's children. I'm going with that. You've done the right thing. Gotta warn the people, right? Yeah. Gotta tell the fools. Yeah. Stop being yeah. a fool. <laughs> right? Because if they walk, you know, walk around here doing what they want, man, ain't nobody, ain't, that's the problem, ain't nobody telling you. You, you, uh, you know, you're I being wicked. Them. You know? I tell them. In a different fashion. Right? We're a little hardcore. Well, I got a yeah, scripture for it, though. Cut. I talk to Mormons. <laughs> Unedited. I talk to Mormons. I talk to, uh, as a matter of fact, I was invited to a Mormon congregation. Oh, that sounds scary. But, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, I talk to them all. I've been a Presbyterian ever since I was that tall. Okay. And, uh, well, good. Okay. I got I got a scripture real quick to back up what you just All said. Right, why don't you? <laughs> Romans uh, 11, I mean, excuse me, Romans 10, Romans, that's and, 10 and 13. Saint that's Paul, right. that's right. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah. That's, that's, but what's the Lord's name? That's a good question, right? Well, uh, call him Abba. Well, Father. that's the Father. Father. He's talking about the Son, though. All right. Listen to this. How then? But he's speaking Hebrew. Yeah, he's speaking. He's Hebrew. speaking Hebrew, and the Father hears Hebrew. Well, uh, but, <laughs> you know, he's hearing it. That's that's the Old Testament. Well, the Old and the Jesus New. Jesus came. That's the New Testament. 
They didn't have the New Testament. Back, the back New Testament. in that days, the most of Mosaic law was Jehovah, Yahweh, now it's Jesus Christ, our Lord. Yeah, Listen, explain, uh, no, I'll explain. When Jesus Christ was born, the Virgin Mary, that was God.